Welcome everyone for more low-level Linux development. I you know what I forgot. I forgot to sequential into my uh, machine. Um, anyway, glibc is out version 2.36 for this major GNU C system library with quite some changes that uh, will they break anything. Also, yeah, just we released the best T2 release ever, 24 plus architectures, and now probably ruining that with. How many regressions will we find this? Like, yeah, why do we not get other significant stuff done? Because we constantly hunt regressions. Uh, some quite some changes, uh, not all are listed here. For example, I think they removed. So normally you would think it's always better and stuff, but even yeah, 2022, even open source, not everything gets better because um, they removed at least. Um, SSE3 support or S SSE, so supplementary streaming uh, something instructions. Um, I think they don't mention that here, so yeah, th that is rather unfortunate. Um, also, yeah, they're arguing is like, yeah, there are plenty of other variants and yeah, you will be fine, but nonetheless, why the optimizations were there, why not leave it there for CPUs that have nothing new, but that is some of the trends in open source stuff, right? Remove everything you don't have. Um, it's being on the shelves on sale right now. Support for new relative location format, some new Linux PID, FD, open and family functions have been added, um, avoiding some PID reuse issues of traditional Unix systems, uh, some process M advice, process M release function allows caller to release memory of the dying process. Uh, no triple A DNS stop resolver option has been added. Um, it's like, yeah, really, I mean, sure, nice to have, but it's like super exotic stuff that 99.99% never use, right? Linux new APIs, FS open, FS mount, move mount, FS config, FS pick, Open tree mount. So it would have been added um, part of a new Linux. Also, yeah, 2022, right? The one thing we need obviously is new Linux kernel API allows applications more flexibly configure and operate file system mount. It's like, yeah, really, but yeah. Local def now accepts local definition files encoded in UTF 8. Previously input bytes not within the ASCII range resulted in unpredictable output. Um, some, some other C8 R. 2MB, multi-byte, UTF-8 character conversion stuff. Function arc for random and friends and family uniform have been added. Rep, get random and or def u random to return high quality 2022. You get quite high quality randomness from the kernel. Support for Longson. Running Linux has been added to the infamous Chinese MIPS variant there. It was kind of controversy whether to add or not. Now there probably we just add this architecture definition to T2 Linux just maybe we can get the Chinese to use T2 Linux obviously. <clears throat> obviously because you need the latest and greatest because that support is new everywhere you need latest bin utils GCC, Linux 519 and only hard float if, if that would be an issue. But anyway some other crazy stuff so deprecated and to be removed features as support for prelink. I wonder who still uses that. Even we, I, I know Red Hat once upon a time was big using that. We never really used that as one of the most meant to improve application startup time. I guess most people didn't use it for 15 years. I'm actually surprised that this is in there. Of all the stuff they can remove, they could have removed that 15 years ago. Linux kernel version check has been. So that is a really crazy one. The first time I read this here, I've not yet checked that. So what I often have the issue, I build latest and greatest boots this on an older system where even upstream Linux kernel support might be removed. Um, either Spark Station 2, Sun 4C, um, or even the SJ Octane where we run always for decades, every five years or so, we, we think this other distribution and run the latest proven somewhat stable set. So I've usually not even the latest kernel on the SJ Octane. And so the glibc, because of this APIs for Linux mount and stuff, they usually have a minimal Linux kernel stuff. And so now they write here the Linux kernel version check has been removed along with ld assume kernel element variable. The minimum kernel used to build glibc is still provided through nt gnu avi tech elf node and also printed when libc is issued directly. 
And so that is a crazy one. Does it mean now instead of like printing you because previously the Linux kernel would have printed Z kernel is too old. I refuse to run further like on a spark station two with 230, 31, uh, 26, 31 or something Linux kernel because that was removed in three zeros, three zero one or so. And at that time it was already broken. So I wonder why they removed it. I mean, I would also wish they would add in sentence there of why they removed it. Because for me, it just sounds silly that instead of previously, at least you run something, it's like, bam, in your face, this will not work. I need kernel ABI, whatever. And now it will just randomly try and eventually fail with incompatible structs or unsupported system calls or stuff. I mean, sure, they return E not supported, obviously, but some other stuff. Yeah, this, this is a crazy one. Um, maybe I should I, I Google that. Um, it's like yeah, some LE library version now, whatever. So following bugs resolved, uh, probably not worse to go through all of them. And as you see, they did not mention here SSE. I wonder, do they have longer? They have actually here some... Um, Release blockers at SSE optimized charger to pointy. Um, so yeah, they um, even don't list it here. I'm, I would need to go through that, uh, whether that really made it into the SSE3 removal. So let's um, lock, let's lock into the, uh, yeah, just a brief pause for security reasons. I avoid to disclose too many internal port knocking IP addresses and stuff. So epic thread ripping Ryzen. Um, so this actually, wait a second, I could, uh, let me just log into uh, data as well. Or what, back in a second. Because then data is also running and doing some updates. So update glibc, uh, which version 236. And yeah, let's hope for the best. Sometimes we need to uh, patch, patch more, um, rediff more, rebase more, and, and so on. <clears throat> I just had another successful build, but I actually wanted to publish. <coughs> sorry, I wanted to publish that, but given that we know if another major release that I didn't quite monitor, let's uh, rebuild that. Again. And glibc32 for the multi-bit variant, also maybe eventually we need a better infrastructure for that. So let's uh, start the build. Um, why we do that? <clears throat> Beside, I mean, we could actually diff that. Maybe we quickly, quickly do. That was... So maybe with all of a boost, don't need to stream all this. European doxes, it's not that strong, not that strong of the internet to scroll a div. So that, wait, as also URN, of course. Would this uh, div delete it? I think it should div delete it at least. Uh, yeah, so it's also crazy the amount, right? 300. Thousands. I mean, how many hundreds of thousand people it needs that many changes? Huh? Also, more, more, more. Um, let's move that to disable. Let's read the data. This is obviously not required for <clears throat> for now. So, tests elf, so does it build? Hey, this was the only patch that is SSE3. So, yeah, there is, is it fully that is 686. So, did they only. So, yeah, there are mem copies, there are at least 3000 lines. So, this is not, so 386, that is not. Should not be removal, actually, maybe. 
we do that like that. Modified, not removed, it missing is in checks. So that sounds for 386, you still get that. Yeah, so they, they see deleted. So yeah, they didn't mention that in the in the changes there, which, yeah. wait a second. No, wait, they also have removed that because it just included no. So that is of course a little bit so so much too, yeah, but you don't need this for the and greatest, right? This is removal of, if you had a whatever Intel AMD, not sure if VR ever had that. Um, I mean, the code was there, it was there, it was tested, it was probably nearly bug free. I mean, we could theoretically restore it, just the amount of testing and, and constantly rediffing and rebasing with the surrounding make files. Um, yeah, I, I don't get this. This is expensive code where experts have guru meditated for hours. Maybe each took easily many hours, if not a day, to write and debug and stuff. Maybe all of this was verse, if not months, verse of work, carefully created. Um, I don't understand this removal, right? This code was there. It wasn't eating anyone's head or bread. It is just silly, in my opinion. Um, let's see what failed there. And what else? Ah, we also have amazing changes to commit. Um, I prepared quite some stuff. Uh, the previous video, better security and, and stability and stuff is forced initialization, position independent code and stick smashing protector. Nice new options and so on. Yeah, but leave in the comments below. Do you support the removal of S S S right, S S S E S S supplementary streaming S S S E ah, Intel names? Obviously, no marketing experts. So that is unable to determine ABI, so that is just some um, um, bootstrapping thing because we don't have a compiler yet. Like here, how did I comment that out? Was it like that? I oh, know actually we have, oh, I had others. Oh, this was indeed not good that we double checked. I mean, can we somehow fake that? Um, I think we could work around that. This is probably so. The thing is that we are not using a matching cross compiler. I guess we could actually define the correct ABI with on the command line even for any x86 or ARM. And maybe we should do that another day. The less we need to patch the better. So there is that, what even changed the probably surrounding stuff. Let's see how much. Um, as the error, oh wait a second, what even freaking heck have I done there? I left this. Uh, what? Oh, previously I had commented that odd apparently. Yeah. Minus, minus, plus, what even freaking changed there? Why did that not apply? Mm, 
AC if an error. Okay, so they changed from, okay, I see the only thing that changed is from dollar question mark to one. So yeah, otherwise, um, you know what, let's spread this live stream just for more views because obviously we need to draw this YouTube channel to find the best Linux distribution we're building here. So uh, let's change this to another clickbait uh, title and continue doing what we were doing. And otherwise, don't forget to share, like, share, like and subscribe. I hope you learned something and see you soon for all the next fun stuff to come. Like, see you soon in five minutes.